Hey, this is Skip Stewart. I uh, just got back from flying a couple of shows in Central America. We picked up my twin Comanche from Sarasota Avionics before we headed down, so we got a chance to try, to try out all of the new toys they gave us. So I thought I would take this opportunity to uh, take a flight with you guys and, and show you what they did for us. It's pretty awesome. Let's go. All right, man, so this is, uh, we're taxiing from my hangar at my uh, personal air, airstrip here. It's called Pegasus Field, just uh, east of Memphis, Tennessee. About a 3,200 foot strip. And uh, I've got Union City programmed in here. We're taking Rob Holland some st uh, stuff up to where he keeps his uh, airplanes for maintenance. It's only about a 25 minute flight from here. This entire panel was done for me um, by Sarasota Avionics, and uh, they're the largest uh, distributor of Garmin products. And uh, I can tell you that they had done my panel before this, and I had some, you know, mixed uh, companies products uh, at the Garmin G uh, GTN 750, and yeah, we upgraded that to the XI, and another a different autopilot and a different EFIS. But now that I have everything Garmin, and it all talks to each other, I mean, it's just. It's just amazing. I mean, it reminds me of flying an MD-11 uh, at work. It um, really makes it nice. Everything complements each other and uh, integrates and works flawlessly. They talk to each other, and it's just uh, it's just an amazing setup. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to hit uh, direct, activate, nav, and let the autopilot fly this thing. I'm going to go to uh, IS and set that at um, about 140. And hit that IS or let her, let her, let her fly. Uh, right now I'm just uh, got an altitude hold and I'm just using the heading bug to enter the downwind for one nine here at Union City. And uh, it's holding altitude perfectly. I got the power pulled back so I can get the gear speed. Um, I haven't done anything fancy with it yet, like, uh, you know, shoot any approaches or stuff. We'll play with that stuff later. Right now I'm just trying to get used to the, uh, you know, logic of it and where the buttons are. But, uh, I mean, it works flawlessly. They were slowed to gear speed, so I'll get the gear down. You'll see how well the autopilot deals with the pitch trim. It has uh, electric trim with the GFC 500. There we got a green light. Make a little correction here with the heading bug. Your trim. You don't have to reach over your head and wonder which way to turn it. I always turn it wrong the first time anyway. In this day and age, it's hard to find people that will uh, do. Um, Good work, you know, for a good price and a good time, but uh, Sarasota, is the, Avionics is the place to go. Um, I went with what Kurt recommended for this airplane, and it's fantastic. I had a trial uh, version of the synthetic vision on here and flying in Central America around all those volcanoes and stuff. It was really cool, so I'm definitely going to continue that, um, uh, get, uh, upgrade this to continue that trial period. But um, if you want some work done on your panel, you need to call Kurt. Sarasota Avionics, he knows what he's talking about. Like I said, they're the largest distributor of Garmin uh, products uh, in the country, and um, it's, it's a place to go, for sure. Sarasota Avionics.